I think too, when you're just talking about it and your neighbor's talking about it, right? It gives you this idea that, oh my gosh, bears are everywhere when they really might not be, you know? So you get that side of things too. But yeah, as you get more people, not only do you get more people, you get more attractants and you get more cameras on the landscape with social media now everybody can talk about these things they want to go viral with it yeah or a video or something yeah but i think too when you're just talking about it and your neighbor's talking about it right it gives you this idea that oh my gosh bears are everywhere when they really might not be you know it could be one bear that's moving through an area and it's generating a lot of calls or generating a lot of publicity and that gives people this idea that there's a hundred of them running around and it's really just one bear in the area and but the human population growth is a a serious issue uh, with bears, not only in Tennessee, but in the Southeast, uh, because we continue to build houses, we continue to build shopping centers, we continue to build all these things that is getting into their habitat, which is the whole state, which we've just talked about. Yep. So something has to give, and you just keep putting more and more people uh, closer to these animals. And when you hear about the projections for growth in Tennessee over the next 20, 30, 75 years, it, it's crazy some of the numbers you're hearing. You're talking about a state going from up to doubling their population in a 75-year time frame. And uh, uh, so the things that we do now to get ahead of that will help future generations. Uh, you know, none of us will be here for that, but uh, we can help the future generations and for bears as well to plan and be ready because it, it's coming. Yeah. And, and it, it is certainly, it's about people. It's not about bears.